Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. On today's video I'm bringing you my review, demo, swatches, a ton of comparisons with the brand new Dior Holiday 2022 collection. Dior really knows how to do a holiday collection. It's very extensive, but it caters for many, many people. They have between eyeshadow palettes. Well, there's an eyeshadow palette that is rectangular. There's also a face palette that comes with an eyeshadow palette, along with lipsticks and whatnot. There's a miniature clutch lipstick case too. And then the main Dior collection, which contains the two eyeshadow queens and two blushes. There's also lipsticks of all all kind of lipsticks and today yes i have right here yours holiday 2022 collection i got the two eyeshadow palette the two blushes i'm gonna go ahead and put them on my eyes on my cheeks we're gonna do comparisons absolutely everything we're gonna talk about absolutely everything of this collection if you're new here to my channel welcome to my channel i'm so happy that you're here i'm so happy for everybody that has tuned in i want to say a big thank you thank you so much for all the support and if again if you're new here to my channel i hope that you will consider and subscribe make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and if you're on instagram or tiktok please come and follow me there i keep you posted on whenever there's a new release sneak peeks i we just stay in communication if you are a luxury beauty lover we need to stay in communication and you need to become part of this family so anyhow my friends here to this dior holiday 2022 collection oh my gosh i'm so so excited honestly for the first sneak peeks i was like mm, this collection doesn't look like it's best but then I saw images of the actual products, not marketing material. And oh my gosh, you have to see these. Okay, let me show to you. Let's just start first with Cosmic Eyes 359. And this is the eyeshadow queen that has a little bit more of like a toppy, kind of like cool tone gold shade. It's in general a cool tone palette so pretty and this year everything is centered in galaxy i mean the name cosmic everything that has to do with outer space the stars the universe that's what it is so beautiful honestly these shades are so pretty and by the way i'm filming in natural light it's already almost gonna be five o'clock so i need to rush to make sure we get the best footage right here and then let's go for the other eyeshadow queen and this one is galactic 589 by the way this collection is already available at various retailers including dior i will be leaving all the details where to find the collection along with all the rest of the products there will be everything on the description box below so not only the products that i will be reviewing today which are the queens the blushes but also again the rest gift sets advent calendar all what you need to know that way is easy for you to locate them because sometimes it's hard certain certain things appear in certain retailers and certain things they do not so they will be all there for you so this palette it plays with cool tone and warm tones although it looks like the deepest one the one that it will take you more for nighttime it's also a palette that can take you from morning looks to deeper looks for evening and then the blushes <laughs> let me show you the blushes Let's see, the first blush right here is 559. And by the way, these are limited edition and this is more of a peachy tone blush. It's not super, super vibrant. I think it's an ideal shade for the fall season. It's not too deep, but it has some warmth and then the other blush is 826 and this one is way deeper like these will work i think amazing for those who have deeper complexions and then they all have the same embossing again of the sky the stars 
there seems to be some snowflakes on the sides. There's, you know, it's all these galaxy theme that we, we're we seeing it not only with Dior, but also other brands for this holiday season of 2022. Oh my gosh. Okay, so as you can tell, I already have foundation on concealer, but I didn't apply any bronzer because I want to apply the blushes directly so you can really see the tone of each of them. And although these blushes, they come with your brush, I'm, I'm not gonna use this, this little brush. I'm gonna go for a Smith 118 brush and going into 556. I feel about to have to dig into it, but it is what it is. Oh, what a pretty shade. Now, this has a very light scent. And by the way, this blush is made in France and it costs $43 here in the United States. I'm just building it up. That way you can really see the tone of it. Oh, isn't this so pretty? This is a beautiful peach tone, but it has some depth to it. Ooh. I'm in love. I'm in love. This is my kind of blush. Now let's go for 126, and I have another 118 brush from Smith <laughs> Brushes. I know, half. I have multiple ones. And let's just dig into it. And let me tell you that the embossing is staying really well. And I don't know if I mentioned it to you, but it does have a very pretty kind of clean scent. And it reminds me a little bit to the new J'adore Lo. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is way more intense. Yeah, definitely way more intense, but super easy to blend. And that's... um characteristic about Dior blushes. They are so beautiful and super easy to blend. Definitely this one, I mean, light-handed, it works for my light to medium complexion. By the way, I will be leaving my foundation matches in the description box below too. But this will work for light to medium skin tones, medium, definitely medium, deep, deep complexions, rich complexions, it will be amazing. If you have my complexion, I will suggest light handed because as you can tell, it has plenty of pigment. So this one is a lot lighter, softer, also another tone. This one is more peachy in tone. This one has that beautiful wine reddish tone. It's not like a vibrant fiery red, but rather a, kind of like a wine tone, like a Bordeaux kind of shade. Very different and very beautiful too. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Oh, I feel so bad, so bad. And then this one, I'm gonna swatch it right here on my ring finger because I do have some comparisons to do with these blushes. I don't know if you remember, but I uploaded a video actually talking about the Dior Holiday 2022 collection. And I mentioned that these blushes remind me a lot to the Chanel blushes from La Pausa collection. Ah, oh, yes, you remember? These came out at the beginning of the year and I wanna go ahead and swatch them. So index finger, I have Dior. In my middle finger, I'm gonna put the one from Chanel. Okay, let me tell you that this is way lighter. The one from Dior links more coral, while the one from Chanel, it's even more peachy in tone. Yeah, the one from Dior is more coral. The one from Chanel is more peachy. It also has, Chanel's has a slight sheen to it. And it's more, in general, Chanel, it's more apricot too. And then I do have here the other blush also from La Pausa collection of Chanel. This baby, you see what I see? <laughs> okay, this one has more brown tone in it. Again, with that beautiful sheen. And Dior has a slight sheen, but not as much as the ones from Chanel. This is Chanel, pinky, 
Chanel middle finger, Dior, Dior. Okay, so I'm just doing Dior, Chanel, Dior, Chanel. Yeah, they are different. So if you were eyeing them and you were like, oh my gosh, they are gonna be alike. No, you see, you can tell brown, reddish tone, apricot tone, and then coral tone. So definitely they are different. You will not get the same, the same shade. That, it's a relief for me. And since I have you here, let me also show them to you side by side. Have Dior and Chanel. And then again, Dior and Chanel. Super pretty, but they are different. And that's a good thing. That's a great thing. Okay, now let's go for the eyeshadow queens, which they are $65 each. They also have the beautiful embossing. They come with the little brushes, which I'm not gonna use them. And I'm gonna start first with Cosmic Eyes 356. Oh, so soft and so beautiful. I just feel so bad that I have to ruin the beautiful embossing, but oh well, it's part of the job, right? <laughs> this shade, wow. It's like a gunmetal shade. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is very pretty. Super pretty. This shade has a little bit more of green, taupe green, then not your typical gold tone. It's not a super yellow gold. The middle shade is more of like a champagne kind of tone. And I will say a satin finish. Yeah, satin finish. Well, these two right here are more, not super metallic, but metallic for yours. Same thing with this one. And then this one has gold sparkles so this is black <laughs> really really black but as you can tell you can achieve a daytime look and then kind of like a deep nighttime look okay friends let's go ahead and start with an eyeshadow look right here i'm excited I'm excited, so excited. I'm gonna try to use all the shades. You don't have to use all the shades. In fact, Dior suggests to use, like say, three shades, right? You can use these three shades, the top three shades, the bottom three shades, these shades, the perimeters. You don't have to use all the shades. I'm just doing it because I wanna give you, I wanna show you all the finishes, how it applies on the eyelids and all of that. And just putting this shade, the middle shade, above the crease. And then taking this shade and applying it on the outer third. Next, I'm gonna go with Sonia G Builder and this taupey tone. And by the way, have you seen that Sonia G is coming out with a set of new brushes? I know, you can sign up for early access. I will be leaving it on the description box below too because it looks like it's gonna be an amazing new eye set. And I'm applying this shade kind of like on the inner third of the mobile lead. Going next with this shade, and I'm just gonna tap it with my finger. I'm just taking it right on the center. I went ahead and applied some mascara on and a little bit of eyeliner. Again, all the details of the products that I'm using on my face will be on the description box below. 
But there you have it, my friends. I think it's a very pretty and sophisticated look. Let's go for the next eyeshadow queen. This baby. Also so beautiful. Love this embossing. <laughs> Honestly, it's just so pretty. Okay. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Okay, this is more of like um bronze with a little bit of like a rose gold tone. Then you have this beautiful pewter shade. A ooh, this is an intense brown shade that it has a little bit more of like a reddish undertone to it. And then we see this middle shade. I'm intrigued. It's like a pearly shade. Ooh. Very, very nice. And different too. Oh, I like this color story. And now for this black shade, instead of having the gold sparkles, which when I say sparkles are minimal, tiny, itsy, itsy bits of shimmer that you can barely tell. On this palette, the sparkles are kind of bluish silver, while the one the other palette, the sparkles were more gold in tone. Let's go first with this shade. And then applying it above the crease. Taking, oh, so much pigment. And apply it on the outer third. Going with the deepest shade and a Sonia G flat definer. with the white shade or pearly shade as you said and I'm just gonna apply it on the inner corner and on my brow bone I feel like this eyeshadow look became more sultry this one is both of them are elegant but this one right here is kind of like your typical golden champagne kind of look very again very elegant beautiful look for any season not only the holiday season i think both of them they are not just holiday holiday now this collection comes with a ton of new lipsticks in a velvet formula also matte satin formulation in singles as well as they have that miniature clutch case just like the one of last year but with different shades and it's also not gold but actually black i decided to skip on it perhaps for right now i may end up getting it honestly this is a great clutch if you want to party and you can take the whole thing out and just use it as a clutch and i have done it myself and i actually love it and on one side you can store one of your lipsticks a lip balm whatever you want and here it actually fits like your cards your driver license in here also it has a mirror on it so if you need to do touch-ups with you know a powder or something like that you can do so very pretty i love the gold one and the black one looks pretty but again i'm I'm still not decided on that. Also, in terms of lipsticks, there are some lipstick on the Attic Lip Shine, which is which are the new formulation that are just beautiful. I just bought this one. It was from the Mille Fiore collection. And there's also a case that is gold in tone. Very pretty too. Again, I may end up getting one, but I have gotten lately so, so many lipsticks that I decided, you know what, it's nothing that I need right away. So I'm going to just go ahead and use a traditional lipstick from Dior for the holidays. And this is 999. And this is actually from a holiday collection. So you can tell it has all the snowflakes. But again, this is not from the collection of this year which it also has an embossing of the stars and all that.
Now let's go into a couple comparisons of these eyeshadow palettes. I was thinking immediately on this palette from Dior. This was from the Riviera collection of this year, 779. And this deepest palette, although it doesn't have the black shade, the finished look, it kind of gave me this vibe in terms of like that sultry kind of vibe. And I'm just going to swatch this shade, this shade, this shade. And then, yeah, I think those are the shades that, I mean, this, not even this shade. <laughs> this shade and this shade right here. And I'm just going to swatch it on this side. Okay, that's more copper in tone. And this one, very alike actually. Perhaps it has a little bit more red in tone, the one from Riviera. And then in terms of the palettes from last year, holiday season, this one is 739, House of Dreams. A lot of people were comparing them because this has that silver tone. Just gonna swatch it and I'm just gonna put it on this side no this is you know this is lighter in tone it's not it's not as deep and then you have the beautiful silver shade this shade over here is more pewter this one is definitely more silver and then also from last year's collection, they got another palette that has those gold tones. And it is 469 Atelier Doré. Which is one of my very, very favorites. It has a little bit more warmth to it, I will say, though. And then we have that brown tone. Yeah. Similar families, but they are not the very, very same. I went ahead and applied just a little bit of bronzer. And now into my final thoughts about this collection. I think Dior just did amazing, fantastic. I, I know these shades on the eyeshadow queens, they are not out of this world. There's nothing like, oh my gosh, never seen and done. But I think one, it caters for different complexions. Like this one right here, it can cater definitely for those with deeper complexions, but at the same time, depending on how many shades you use, it can go for someone that has a lighter complexion like myself. Same thing with the other eyeshadow queen. And they both give you a very different look. This one, I feel a little bit more sophisticated, more glam, more cool tone, and just very much a holiday palette, but something that you can also use it all year round. Same thing with this palette over here, which I feel that is just a little bit more sultry. The final look, both of them, I think they are beautiful. And let me tell you that that marketing material doesn't, make any justice to these beautiful palettes. These palettes, the embossing is just so, so pretty. I mean, like even showing them here, you have to go to my Instagram <laughs> and check them out because I, I'm i gonna have a real app and close up images because they are just beautiful. Honestly, they are just so, so beautiful and in terms of the blushes i think again the same thing they are catering for different complexions different skin tones i really love the two shade selection one is peachy but not super i mean yes you may have something alike perhaps but it is it is a shade that you will get really good use out of it also i really love that they are not flat matte shades and this shade I think, again, it will cater for deeper complexions. And I love this kind of like wine tone. It's not really a red, red tone. So it's just very unique. It's unique. It's very pretty, the shade. Honestly, very, very beautiful. And like I said, I really love that you can go light-handed and use it if you have a lighter complexion. Or if you have a deeper complexion, you just go all out and you'll be just fine. Let me just build up a little bit of this shade. Right now, I can see the moon, actually. Can you imagine that? So I'm just going to go with a little more and just tap it in. 
so you can even see like how much you can build up there you have it and it just have a little bit of sheen to it a tiny tiny bit both of the shades it doesn't replace highlighter but it has just a dash of luminosity that it just looks stunning it honestly looks stunning and definitely i mean the lipsticks from dior they are beautiful i may end up getting some of them so we will see but anyhow my friends i would love to know from you are you planning to pick up anything from this dior holiday 2022 collection what are the items that you're looking at perhaps you're looking into a gift set another set of palettes maybe the mini ado this little thing right here in the black one perhaps you're looking to something like this let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i really really would love for you to become part of my family and subscribe to my channel make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads also it will be amazing if you can come and follow me on my instagram and my tiktok my tiktok handle is different than my youtube and my instagram those are hey is jacqueline while TikTok is Hey Jacqueline. And yes, do not forget to subscribe because let me tell you that in the blink of an eye, I will get you my review up for Chanel's Holiday 2022 collection and much more. So you don't want to miss anything, anything of that. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.